hey guys, Pastor Matthew here, and I just wanted to come in my place of quarantine and uh, give you just an update on me, my family, and maybe a quick word of devotion uh, for today. This last Friday, I woke up in extreme, intense cramps and body aches. I had a fever. Um, I, I was just feeling absolutely terrible. And so my wife and I began to pray, and, and, and Friday afternoon, I began to believe in the sense that I truly do have coronavirus. So I went to a minute clinic in uh, Harrison, Arkansas, so I could get day of results uh, of my coronavirus test. And indeed, I found out I have COVID. I wanted to get tested on Friday at a day of result because it was going to affect what we do on Sunday. I told you when coronavirus began that I would do everything I can to make sure that you can always be confident that when you gather with us to worship, that you're, we're going to have safety measures put in place so that you don't have to worry about your health, okay? And we did that. The, the leadership team put an incredible plan together. You responded so well. You joined online then. You've been joining online afterwards to, to watch what Dennis uh, had to say. And uh, just so thankful for how well you've responded in that moment. You've been calling me and texting me. I haven't been able to get back in touch with everyone. I'm just so tired. I'm so, so tired. Uh, but thank you so much for your calls. Thank you for your texts. We've literally gotten texts and calls from all around the world, people calling to pray for us during this season. But your prayers, your calls, your texts have meant so much. Thank you so much. I have no smell. I have no taste. Uh, the body aches aren't as intense, but I have zero energy. And so it's been a in, very interesting season of me laying in bed, just tired, wanting to sleep. My family uh, all has symptoms of coronavirus, mainly uh, just a lot of drainage, scratchy throats. Uh, they don't have a fever. Uh, so I'm just going to ask, would you continue to play, pray for my, my family Thank you so much again for how you've prayed for me. What God has showed me in this season is this, is that I can go from high on top of the mountain to low in the valley. I can go from being very uh, healthy to not being healthy at all. I can go from being super confident to not very confident. I can go from emotional to not emotional. My, my feelings, my health, my energy levels, all these things have been going up and down, up and down, up and down. But what I want you to know is that despite how our feelings may change, despite how fast things around us can change, despite how our health can change, despite what we experience and see, the word of the Lord stands true. And not only does it stand true, he has the last word for my life, my story, my family, our church, and he has the last word for you. Be confident in the Lord. What we experience does not have the last word. Jesus Christ does. I'm believing I'm gonna to continue to get better. I'm believing my family will be well. I'm believing for you that you will stay healthy, you will get better, and that our best is still yet to come. Church, I love you. Thank you so much for how you pray for my family, for how you gather around us and rally to support us in crazy, difficult times. I love you. I absolutely can't wait to see you again in the days to come. See you then.